Scorpio, I'm back, back in uh, top form. Well, not complete top form after COVID, but uh, certainly a lot better than I was. Um, good to have your company again. This is the November 2021 horoscope. Uh, I'm ready to activate the, uh, the wheel here to uh, give you the insight on what's happening. A couple of important transits this month. In particular, keep your eye out on this new moon that's taking place in our sun sign. I say our because a few of you know that I'm a Scorpio. And so uh, I hold you near and dear. <coughs> the new moon is really important. We talk about the new moons and later in the month, the full moon eclipse. And this is going to occur here in your sun sign. And that eclipse later in the month across this seventh house. That's very, very important. I'm having a look at some of the transits here that coincide with that. For example, the transit of Venus here, right on that new moon date, bringing in new you and also new forms of communication and a much greater interest in social banter. There it is there on the 6th. 5th and 6th are important dates for you this month. Venus also makes you a little more restless. It's in the movable sign of Capricorn here in the third house. Travels, communication, siblings, the mind. Uh, some astrologers take it to be a sign of education. Third house is the standard education. Ninth house is higher education. On the eighth, when the moon makes its contact with Venus, you're likely to see these energies activated. These faster moving bodies like the moon and Mercury trigger those influences. Speaking of Mercury, it too moves into your uh, sun sign on the 6th, around that important date. Few planets moving, so I think that beginning of the second week is going to be uh, pr pretty important for you. <coughs> Notice here around the uh, 10th and 11th, the to and fro energies in your domestic sphere, uh, with the moon transiting firstly Saturn, then Jupiter. This is a roller coaster ride for you in terms of your <coughs> family affairs. <coughs> Pardon me, I've still got this post COVID cough. Excuse me. The Neptune conjunction there, that's happening every month for you now for quite a while in this fifth house of creativity. So you'll see uh, quite a bit of that energy returning, especially when you see the trine aspect to these hot, fiery planets, Mars and Sun, your ruler, and the planet Sun, which rules your 10th house of career. And here's the big one this month. This is happening in your marital and uh, principal relationships house, Scorpio. <coughs> this seventh house of love and marriage will have the opposition of Mars first. That makes you very volatile. Could be a few arguments, um, head-on confrontations, Mercury opposite, and then the full moon eclipse taking place right near the node here at the tail end on the 19th. There it is there. That Uranus connection makes uh, your relationships very, very volatile, and the eclipse is going to release a lot of energy. Big questions for your relationships. I don't think this is so much a big question about a relationship so much as the way you've approached relationships generally. What is it you're hoping to gain out of those relationships? What do your partners want out of uh, those relationships? Of course, that seventh house has a lot to do with the general public as a whole. So it's your relationship to the world. This first house where we saw the new moon is a is a renewal of self in a, in, in a sense. You notice the sun moving out on the 22nd of November into your finance sector. So <clears throat> a shift in energy, maybe that new you is going to find uh, better ways to make money and to enhance your professional status. You've got that lunar movement up there all alone, but making strong aspects to Saturn, a more serious tone Mercury moving into Sagittarius as well with the sun, bringing with it a whole range of new ideas, inventive ideas, and also fast turnover in cash, especially if you're <clears throat> running a business or looking to um, be a little more entrepreneurial. 
Moon in the 11th house is also good for profitability. That's Virgo's sign, which is also connected to the planet Mercury. Mars remains in your sun sign, and uh, fortunately it's past that opposition aspect to Uranus, bringing less volatil volatility, less dispute, and I hope a piece of sort of, a piece of, uh, a, a more peaceful sort of time for you, especially when Venus passes Pluto here, which will be next month in December and moves into your fourth house. More on that next month. But this is a fairly big month, mainly in terms of yourself, self-renewal, how you're viewing your relationships and some big revelations maybe in terms of your personal relationships, but in terms of relationships generally, your partner may indeed reveal something about themselves or you may see something in your partner or the way in which you've dealt with relationships that causes you to rethink the the whole manner in which you which you approach them so this is pretty significant i've got more there for you we've taken the transcript of this for you folks if you want to duck on over there to astrology.com.au you'll see that along with the chronological transit list which will uh, fill in the gaps sometimes i miss some of the uh, aspects i try to focus on the main ones you've got our free psychic readings there you've got your weeklies dailies and yearly readings i'm just doing the 2022 readings i've already got uh, aries taurus gemini cancer and leo up and ready to go if you want to have a look at those and contextualize where you are right now don't forget to subscribe drop me a message and i'll see you next month bye bye now